Good morning. Welcome to Unity Church of Overland Park's Inner Connections. My name is Deborah Baker and I'm delighted to be with you this morning. It is such a privilege to be able to share some sacred time of meditation with so many of you that I know and some of you that I don't know. Uh, Unity Church of Overland Park offers this meditation time every morning, every weekday morning at 11.30 a.m. Central Daylight Time. And I'm glad that you joined us this morning. So let's just settle in, relax. Take a nice deep breath. And let go, let go of all cares, concerns, anything that could be <sighs> occupying our minds. Let's just allow our minds to go completely blank. And the theme of this morning's meditation is acceptance. And so let's uh, let go of the world. And you know that I liked if this is. Um, you're a regular per person to attend my meditations, you know that I like to begin with a time to relax our body. So let's just let go of our all tension and stress in our bodies. Feel the tension just drain out of your body. Imagine a beam of white light coming up from the center of the earth, entering into the soles of your feet, moving up gently through every part of your body, right. relaxing your feet, Make, imagine that your feet and your whole body is getting an energetic massage and so feel each of your toes let go, feel it move through your feet and into your ankles, through your ankles, into your lower legs and we are just going to accept the world as it is. And so even as you feel that white light, that, that divine energy, we know that we are spiritual beings having a human experience. And so we treasure our human bodies, which make it possible for us to be here having a human experience. And we accept our bodies exactly as they are. So as you feel that sacred holy energy moving through your feet and ankles and lower legs and now into your knees. I invite you to accept your feet and ankles and lower legs and knees exactly as they are. They've gotten you this far. And then feel that white light and that sense of acceptance moving into your upper legs. Feel your legs and your feet begin to get very heavy. We're going to just completely let go of all of our thoughts. We accept the world as it is. And now feel that white light moving into the seat of the chair if you're sitting on or just your tailbone, your pelvic floor, your lower back your sit bones, your lower torso, and just imagine like a thermometer that relaxation moving up through your body, through your torso, through your pelvis, into your midsection, through your midsection, into your rib cage. And it's possible to get into a state of relaxation very quickly. And so just notice you have relaxed your body or you are in the process of relaxing your body. Your brain is shifting or has already shifted to the brain wave of meditation. Your heart rate has slowed down just a little. Your respiration has slowed down just a little. So just feel that holy energy moving through your heart space, your shoulder blades, the level of your collarbone. Notice it moving into the tips of each of your fingers and thumbs, moving up one knuckle at a time through your hands. Feel your hands getting that energetic massage. 
through your hands into your wrists, through your wrists into your lower arms, your elbows, your upper arms, and feel it all come together at your shoulders. Feel your shoulders sink down a little, your neck get a little longer. And then pay particular attention as that energetic massage moves through your neck, releasing any stress or tension, allowing you to relax that much more deeply. Feel it move into your jaw, your lower jaw, your lips, your teeth, your tongue, your upper jaw. Allow your face to get a completely blank look on it, expressionless. Notice the white light moving up around and through your ears. Your atlas, which is that last vertebrae where your spinal column meets your skull. Feel it move through your head, through your face, your upper lip, your nose, your cheeks, between your eyes, your eye sockets. Feel your eyes become like pools, your temples the sides and back of your head, all the way up through your forehead to the crown of your head. And so let's just imagine you are exactly where your soul needs to be right now. So we are spiritual beings who have, in, in my perspective, we have chosen to be here we chose these bodies because they are the ideal vessels for the experiences we came here to have. You know, human beings put a lot of conditions and expectations and opinions on our bodies. But I invite you to let go of all of that <clears throat> hair color, wrinkles, no wrinkles, no hair you know, weight, shape, height. Let's just let go of all of that and think about <clears throat> your body as this perfectly functioning vessel. Feel that love, unconditional love and acceptance which go hand in glove. When we accept something, it becomes that much easier to love it. And when we love something unconditionally, of course we accept it. So I invite you to feel the love and appreciation for your body, for your feet, your legs, for all of your internal organs, and uh, all the ones that you have. If you're missing a few, like an appendix or a gallbladder or something like that, appreciate the service it gave you while you had it. And just feel that relaxation moving through your internal organs as that sense of appreciation deepens. Our bodies are pretty amazing when you think about it. You know, we, we eat our food and our bodies convert it into energy and allow us to go about our days. We don't even have to think about it. And they know when to sleep at night. They know when to wake up. I invite you to just love your body exactly as it is. Imagine that you are at the very end of your life and you're looking at letting go of your body and going back to the oneness, going back to spirit. Notice how bittersweet it will feel to let go of your body, to let go of this place that has been your physical home for this lifetime. I invite you to truly allow that sense of acceptance and appreciation and love for your body to settle in really deeply. And just know that you are living and moving and having your being in this perfect vessel. And if there's something you want to change about it, go ahead and change it. But that doesn't mean you don't you, that you can't accept it right now the way it is. 
right now in this moment it is exactly as you need it to be everything is exactly as it needs to be everything is in perfect divine order there's nothing you have to change nothing you have to fix know that everything is fundamentally good and every day in every way life gets better and better and better and it comes from having an appreciation and an acceptance of how things are. And so let's shift our focus for a, for a second to acceptance of the world as it is. Acceptance of this pandemic that is moving through our planet right now. Acceptance of the tropical storms that are happening in the Gulf of Mexico, acceptance for all of the things that are happening globally, knowing that each soul has a right to choose and that there is a universal life force, the one presence and the one power that is orchestrating this whole drama. You know, that is, that is creating the weather, that is creating situations that are way beyond our control. And if we can't control it, if we have no influence over it, the best choice, the most healthy and peaceful choice is to accept it as it is. And so know that we can't control the weather, we can't control this pandemic, we can't control how people react to it. Our only choice, our only thing that we can control is our own thoughts, words, and actions. So I invite you to accept, to let go of anything over which you have no power and no control. Let go of the weather, let go of the pandemic, let go of the election that's coming up. Know that you get to cast your vote. And if you want to work toward, you know, campaigning or whatever, those are activities you can do. And after you do your best, the results are out of your hands. There's a saying, you can plan actions but you can't plan results. And so just know that all of the actions that you have planned have been with the agreement of your infinite self. And so know that your infinite self is moving in through and as you. Your infinite self, God, the one presence and the one power is moving in through and as you. And while you and I are powerless over much of what happens in this world. We are not powerless over our attitudes and about choosing to allow our energy fields, which is the greater part of us, to expand, to fill our homes with love, to expand, to fill our cities with love, to picture our energy fields, which are one with all that is. They're one with God. Picturing our energy fields expanding to spread love over all of the earth. Touching each soul, touching each person on earth with infinite, unconditional love. our thoughts, words, and actions. And so while we accept the past, it's, it's past, we can't change it, we can change our thoughts, words, and actions. So I invite you to allow your thoughts to turn to peace, to turn to unconditional love and acceptance, to expect the best of yourself, to allow your words to be loving and kind, life-giving, supportive, 
and your actions to speak those thoughts as well, for your actions to be kind, to hold the door for someone if you're going to the store, or to allow someone in in traffic, to send a kind response, whether it's email or social media or text message, to give people the benefit of the doubt. To know that sometimes we hear things, we perceive things differently than they are intended. So let's just accept that words sometimes fall short of what we need them to. And that in, at the end of the day, you choose whether you want to give love and whether you want to accept love. Take a moment, take a deep breath, and know that I am energetically sending you unconditional love and acceptance. I truly and absolutely believe that you are a whole, that you are whole and perfect exactly as you are as you are right now and I invite you to take that in and know that you are a beautiful being accept the love that is being freely given to you not only by me but by so many people who love you accept the love of your higher self your infinite self you are one with all that is, and I invite you to accept that, to accept all of that love that is just streaming toward you. We know that the energy, the power, the force of God is love, unconditional, unfiltered, beautiful, perfect love. And I invite you to accept that. To allow your acceptance to be of the good as well. Allow your heart and soul to accept that infinite love. To accept the past and know that you are worthy of every good thing. Absolutely worthy of every good thing in every moment. There's nothing you need to do to change to become more worthy. You are whole and perfect, exactly as you are. And a lot of times when we think about acceptance, we think about having to accept something we don't like or something we don't approve of. And I invite you to think of acceptance as accepting all of the good things. Accept the beautiful blue sky Accept the beautiful stars at night. Accept all of the beautiful love that is offered to you. Accept that you are a beautiful being exactly as you are. Feel down into your heart and feel that unconditional love that is the essence of your being without the filters of your life experiences and the judgments that you may have felt from other people. Feel that unconditional love right there for you. Right there. Always ever present. Know that you are worthy of every good thing. There is nothing that stands in the way of your abundance and your peace and your love. Nothing that stands in the way. So just allow yourself to take it in. And I invite you to make a decision right now to live from your greatest truth, which is that you are whole and perfect exactly as you are, infinitely worthy of every good thing. Take a nice deep breath and accept all of the wonderful things that are present in this world, that are part of you, that are your very essence. And I invite you to 
Just allow unconditional love to fill your heart and soul, to fill your thoughts and your words and your actions and to know that you are infinitely worthy. So thank you so much for joining me this morning and I send you infinite unconditional love. I allow the infinite to flow in through and as me during this meditation especially to fill your heart and soul with love and peace and joy. My name is Deborah Baker. Um, I have a website, Deborah, healingdebra.com. And um, if you want to reach me, you can comment after this meditation. And uh, we will be back tomorrow morning at 11.30 a.m. This is Unity Church of Overland Park's Interconnection. Thank you for joining. Namaste.